Hey yo, it is the Wednesday night. The light is here. Ray Ray is here, and we are back with another goddamn video. Hey, oh man, I miss doing this, but we had to come back with a, a oldie but goodie. Mr. Dreamcast guy himself I'm trying to understand why did Jim Ryan just retire all of a sudden? But in this video, he shows us he didn't he didn't really like Jim old Jimmy Boy. But it was this same energy a couple days ago. But you know how ponies are. They flip like the wind blows. So Let's get to the video. What's up, Gamer? Streamcast guy here, and as you can tell, I am not at home right now. Uh, actually, I'm helping my best friend move into my house. So lots of empty shelves uh, packed. Boy, how you start the video offline with the little ass hat on? Look like he got some neosporin or something on his face, though. He he cleared up some of the potholes, but still, lying motherfucker. Town because the head of PlayStation, Jim Ryan, has just retired. He's stepping down effective immediately. Why do you have the I just smell shit face every single time you fucking talk? Oh, this is so fucking annoying. Human re reforged gaming has that same I just smell something very bad face anytime they're trying to dramatize something. But let's hurry up and get to this video so we can get this shit over with. And it's just kind of a complete shock. A lot of the internet, though, seems to be a bit mixed. PlayStation had some of the highest console sales ever. I mean, even if you didn't like the PlayStation 4 or you're not in love with the PlayStation 5's exclusive games, you cannot deny the fact that profitability-wise, Jim Ryan definitely understood how to make PlayStation a big market. Two things here. Nobody shot. Literally, Jim Ryan just flew all over the country to stop the ABK deal. And he lost. So why would you be shot if you're getting fired or retired? Nobody shot. The second part of his thing. Nobody fucking cares about sales. These are the PlayStation pony talking points. Sales, 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 sales. In this whole video, he's talking about market cap. That's what his leg. That's what Jim Ryan's legacy is. Even though he took over for the was it Lashita or whoever the, the the people are with Jack Trin and the rest of them guys and Adam Boys and um, uh, was it Andrew House or Andrew something. So he took over for those guys. He really didn't say anything about the truth about Jim Ryan's legacy. PlayStation Portable. PlayStation VR 2, uh, over the shoulder three uh, third person games. That is Jim Ryan's legacy, punk bitch. But the biggest criticism that a lot of people have had about the Jim Ryan era, and it's one I have talked about, is the fact that he had this veil of silence. In the PlayStation 3 era, in the PSP era, in the PS2 era, the early PS4 era, there was a lot of chest pounding. There was a lot of times where Sony wanted you to buy their games, but they also wanted to have PlayStation gamers. They would be talking. So, as he's talking out his ass again, here he goes to my, oh, PlayStation want PlayStation gamers. What the, what the fuck does that mean? Xbox want Xbox gamers? PC and Nintendo and all of that. But... To prove that you always talking out your ass. Exhibit A, bitch. 99% chance that the Activision deal is dead. An another L for, for Xbox. Uh, t the toughest month ever. Huh. Huh. L, huh? Dead, huh? Hmm. Hmm. We can take his word, I guess. Hat, and I'm still just wearing Spider-Man gear. Why did this clown shoe just flex in the middle of a goddamn video with a Spider-Man shirt on and a 
I hope that ain't a Lakers hat. I don't know what that is. A faded Lakers hat. What the fuck? What the fuck, what the fuck your problem is, sir? What is wrong with you? Jim Ryan wasn't a gamer. Like, Jim Ryan understood how to sell games. He definitely was a... No shit, Sherlock. He couldn't even hold the control the correct way. You saw Jim Ryan talk. The guy definitely didn't really care about these games, which I do think is different from Nintendo and Microsoft. I've had my problems with Phil Spencer. I had a viral video a while ago saying I think that Phil Spencer needed to be replaced, but there's no denying Phil Spencer plays his Xbox. I mean, I've been a PlayStation dick sucker since the PlayStation 1 days. Jim Ryan, because he definitely made some good business decisions, but this still just seems like such a shocking turn of events. I mean, who at PlayStation is going to fill this role, and how are they going to change things? Each of the previous... It's not shocking. And they, in the article that you fucking, fucking sourced, they literally told you who's taking over for PlayStation. I'm not even going to say his name, because you know I'm going to get in trouble. So, you read, motherfucker, read. God damn. That each different head of PlayStation has done different stuff with the company, and I think a lot of it has been very positive, but I'm hoping whoever takes over next cares about the games, the ecosystem, and the hype. The PlayStation 5 is incredibly popular. Undeniably, the thing is is huge. <laughs> the PS5 is the biggest system. I just oh. want to talk to him. Wait, why do you have a shotgun? I just want to talk to him. Dad, this is ridiculous. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him on the planet. I mean, month after month, quarter after quarter, you can look at the raw sales numbers. People are buying the PlayStation 5s as fast as they can glue them things together, just right? Curious to see what comes next. Maybe they've already announced his successor, but personally, I would say Yoshi P. Yoshi P, or sorry, not Yoshi P, that's the guy from <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV, sorry. Shuhei Yoshida. Come on, come on! Go away! I do want another handheld. I, I do wish that we had some sort of like PlayStation version of the Steam Deck, something that actually played PlayStation games incredibly good, incredibly easy, press install, play it, unlock trophies, unlock achievements. Oh my God, it's fucking over. Oh my God, I can never get that back in my in my life. That's time, that's, oh fuck. He forgot about the PlayStation portal. It's trash, we know. There your handheld. That's Jimmy Boy's legacy. Oh, these, these ponies are capping so hard and they're coping, but the salt is real. Oh, let's please keep giving us content, Dreamcast guy. So, I want y'all to like, share, subscribe, and we will be back with another video later this week. Join us Wednesday on the Xbox Echo Chamber at 7.15. And y'all keep supporting y'all, boy. Um, I know it was a mishap with some of the blocks on the channel, but I corrected that. And let's go.